With or without data, people make decisions. But you can make an informed decision when you have data. DHIS2 makes information available. The value of information lies in the decision that it enables. How many drugs you're going to need, for example, for malaria, in terms of the cases that you've had, that can help you to project how many supplies you're going to need. You can plan around having your staff available for that particular season. These are malaria cases for Neno District. But because of patient work overload, the patients are just so many most of the times. The nurses also on the ground are not enough. That one is also a major challenge. My name is Mbongeni Jizonda, and I'm in charge of the district health information system in Malawi. I am in charge of implementing and training users and promoting the usage of the system. Also makes me go around the country uh, meeting different users of the system and training them and transferring skills on how to use the system. DHIS2 is the main data collection and data aggregation tool. So the Ministry of Health migrated from the paper-based DHIS1 to an online-based DHIS2. It gives us the ability to access data anywhere, regardless of our, of our location, and we can access it at any time. Previously, before we introduced this system, the data that was coming into the system uh, could take one year uh, to come from the facility. When we introduced the uh, um, health management information system, uh, things changed for the better. Data was flowing on a timely basis and it was uh, available and uh, this is one of the critical uh, issues that managers want to make you know, decisions. Mm -hmm.